This is the documentation for a slot machine. It's called a PAR sheet, which stands for Probability and Accounting Report. It tells you everything that you need to know about how this particular slot machine operates. With these available, it amazes me that there's still so much mystery about how slot machines operate. It's all right here, but there's really two problems with that. These are really only available to slot technicians, and then most slot technicians aren't mathematicians. And these can be really confusing if you don't know what you're looking at. So I thought I'd break one down into layman's terms so we could really take some of the mystery out of it. For example, this machine pays back 95%. And I wanna explain where that number comes from and what does it really mean. And then we're gonna code this slot machine from scratch so we can see how these probabilities translate into the real world. For this video, I'm gonna use the simplest slot machine that I could possibly find to make it easier to explain. But maybe if this video does well, I'll do a more complicated slot machine with like bonus rounds and stuff like that. Spoiler alert, they work exactly the same. Before we even break down the par sheet, one of the first things that you really have to understand is that what you see when you sit down, the reels that are spinning, aren't necessarily what's inside the computer. The computer uses what's called virtual reels because they only exist inside the computer. Usually the virtual reel is gonna have way more symbols than the physical reels. After the machine does its calculations and then figures out what the virtual reel symbols are, then the physical reels will spin and match up to what the virtual reels did. That's one of the reasons the machine can appear to be rigged. It might look like you have like a one in 16 chance or something like that to get the jackpot symbol on each one of the reels. But in reality, you have on this machine, you have a one in 72 chance. It could be way higher than that. Some machines might use like 256 spots on the virtual reels. That's really the place we should start when we start talking about this par sheet. This machine has 72 stops on the virtual reel. The first reel has 16 single bars, 13 double bars, six triple bars, one black gold jackpot symbol, and then 36 blank spaces. We're gonna have to do some math right here. I know, but this is super important if you ever wanna understand this stuff. You're never really gonna understand slot machines if you don't get this concept down. I'm gonna try to limit the math to just one minute though. Like I said before, we have 72 spaces on the virtual reels. So 72 possible ways that each one of those reels could land. So you have 72 times 72 times 72 means that you have 373,248 different ways that the reels can land. So that means you have a one in 373,248 chance of getting the jackpot. We can do the same thing with the three three bars. You have six on reel one, four on reel two, and three on reel three. That means six times four times three means you have 72 different possible ways of getting the three three bars. So if you divide the ways that you can get the three three bars by every possible combination, that means you're gonna get the three three bars once every 5,184 spins. Not exactly as it's random, but that's where this number comes from. People think that the casino just makes these numbers up. Yeah, you're gonna get the three three bars every 5,000 spins or so, and then they can just change it however they want. But these numbers are made on math. Now I'm gonna type all these virtual reels up exactly like they're shown on the par sheets. Like I said for reel one, 16 single bars, 13 double bars, six triple bars, one black gold, and 36 blank spaces. I've got each symbol corresponding to a number. So for example, getting a 28 on reel one means a double bar. On reel two, it means a triple bar. And on reel three, it would mean a black gold. So if I program all the reels into some code in Python, and then we choose three numbers, we've effectively chosen three symbols at random on the slot machine. Then we just have to put in the given pay tables so it knows how much money to pay back. I'm gonna use the two coin pay table because all the explanations on the par sheet are shown for the two coin pay table. Now let's run through systematically through every combination just to see if it pays back what it's supposed to pay back according to the par sheet. So I'm gonna go here to run. It's gonna start running through combinations really, really quick. Every time the third number gets to 72, because that's how many symbols were on the reel, it's gonna start over and then the middle number is gonna go up by one. Every time the middle number gets to 72, the first number will go up by one. 
After all three numbers get to 72, it'll have run through every possible combination that this slot machine can do exactly one time. Okay, now that it's done, I want you to notice these numbers here. We put in 72 times 72 times 72 times two coins, or $746,496. And we received back $710,000 177 dollars what that means is we received back 95.13 percent of what we put in that's where the payback percentage comes from the money received from every possible combination and how much it would cost to try every possible combination it'll come up with the same thing every single time we don't really want it to come up with the same thing every time. We want that to happen randomly. So instead of going through systematically, we're gonna generate three random numbers, and then boom, we have a functioning slot machine. So now let's spin it a million times and see if the payback percentage falls where it's supposed to. Everyone seems to get hung up with these numbers that the machine must have to do some funny business to keep it within these numbers, but these are just probabilities. There's a greater than 90% chance that our payback for a million spins is gonna be within 1.1%, plus or minus. And it is. Now I know what you're thinking. How do I know there's no funny business going on and it's not manipulating itself to stay within that range? To that I say, I coded this. I know exactly what's in this code. One of the first lines in this code is to generate the random numbers. It's at the very top of the code. And the code doesn't know what it's supposed to do with those random numbers until way later. It also doesn't know that it's supposed to pay back 95.13%. That just happens automatically because over time, and the more spins you do, it's just naturally gonna converge close to that number every single time. Now, I know a bunch of people are gonna say that this machine is old and that they don't work like this anymore. For one, the par sheets disagree with you. Every machine, even today, has a par sheet and you can look at exactly how they operate. The par sheets, the manufacturers, the casinos, the state jurisdictions, they all disagree with you. This is how slot machines operate. And then the other side of it, the casinos have a method here that works every single time. It's super simple, it's legal, and it can't be beaten. Please explain to me why they would want to play a bunch of games and manipulate the machines to make them more complicated, less reliable, scam half their customers, and then most of all they'd open themselves up to advantage players. This would also risk their gaming license. I can't come up with a single reason why they would ever want to deviate from how they actually work. It makes no sense at all. Having them random guarantees them a profit. The only evidence anyone ever has against this is they either did or didn't win money and they don't really understand why. In the next video I'm going to run through some experiments on this machine so we can really look at what happens with the slot machines pay over time. It's really interesting to see it graphed over time, to see it go up and down and see how it converges. If you made it this far in the video, could you hit the like button for me? It really does help out the videos. And leave me a comment. It's really hard for me when all the comments are from angry people looking for fake slot tips. They get really mad when they don't find them here. Before your next Vegas trip, get educated. Thanks for watching.